All right, folks. Eric and I are having another fight night. And Eric, trying to beat me, is going to be Mission Impossible because you are about to be terminated. So yippee ki mother brother, because there can only be one. Welcome to Retro Fight Night, round two. All right, coming off of round one, I this is such a fun new recurring episode for us. I feel like every time we think of that, you know, I feel like I'm afraid we're going to run out of episodes. And then we think of something like this and it's just like, this is awesome. I, this is so amazing. <laughs> but uh, yeah, I loved the first one. And this one is like, has a whole different lane to it, yeah. you know, and I'm really excited to go through it. And for everybody who's listened back to round one, uh, we're going to keep the same sort of format. It's just different categories. Um, but still, I'm still going to win. <laughs> <laughs> I declared it at the end of the last episode that I won. <laughs> he has hosting rights that I don't have, so man. <laughs> That's true. I have the access to social He's media. He's got director's cut. <laughs> <laughs> so like to me, it's just like I can make up it. Oh, we got all these comments, David. The, the, our audience said that I won. <laughs> uh, all right. So uh, the first category we're going to do is a pretty big category straight out of the gate. Um, so uh, So here's the first one. His name's Bond. James Bond. Good morning, Mr. Hammond. Your mission, should you choose to accept it, fight. I can see it now, like this romantic rom-com scene of James Bond and a picnic blanket and like a, a lady. And then Tom Cruise is there as well. And like Tom Cruise is like, hey, look at me. And he's in the background hanging off a jet plane. But the <laughs> lady can't see past James Bond's eyes. And like... <laughs> Sorry, Mr. Cruz, you're not winning that that battle. And I mean, what do they say? A, a, a man looks great in a tux. Mm-hmm. J- James Bond. Oh, for sure. There's not another person who looks no. better in a tux. I no. mean, yeah, absolutely. And- like he's defined, he's defined the kind of tux wearing. <laughs> I feel like I'm heading into the category. I'm just gonna sound like Ric Flair here. He's a tux wearing. <laughs> You know, sports car driving, Rolex wearing. <laughs> right. Yes. You know, he's just, he's got that cool factor. Limousine riding, jet <laughs> flying, totally. I mean, he's inside the jet that Tom Cruise is hanging off of, it's which true. is kind of cool. But um, <laughs> is it wise that everything that you tend to use in Mission Impossible has to blow up after you use it? <laughs> like that it's, right. it costs tens of thousands of dollars and it's a one-time use like i know we yeah. joked about like the the tech people <laughs> for like a, a robocop and t800 but can you imagine the poor guy that comes up with the technology and he's like wait can we just maybe on the third time blow it up <laughs> like do we have to blow it up now um, and who yeah. tested it like oh, three seconds is enough oh right. nope he needs more time he's blown to bits five <laughs> seconds perfect okay this message 100 bucks and we're gonna save the rest of them no 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 it has to self-destruct it's going to be an extra $5 million. It has to self-destruct. Okay. Let's do um, it. <laughs> I think the Me Too movement would cancel Bond. A uh, bit of a womanizer. Yeah, just a touch. No, just, just a touch. Uh, that's a weakness. Uh, and then, you know, his ego, he's very cocky. Like, I kind of feel like Bond's on penicillin constantly as well. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> right. Uh, what What does this uh, IV bag do? Is it? It's just penicillin, Bob. Yeah, you just, need antibiotics at all times, Mister Bob. <laughs> he takes it shaken, not stirred. <laughs> <laughs> all right. So this next fight, uh, I feel like is I, I like I just feel like this is a super cool category, and I feel like it's a pretty good matchup, and so I'm pumped to talk about this one. So here we go. It's not every day that you find out you're responsible for three billion deaths. Dodge this. Fight. So when you think, (laughs) you want to give us the tale of the tape? (laughs) <laughs> i uh I, I told david that i started googling their height and weight and immediately stopped shut, <laughs> it, down. Like, shut, shut it, down. it down we don't do this i don't want to get our female fans will hate us my wife will hate me um but yeah so the tail of the tape does not exist for this category for obvious but it's not found <laughs> yeah. there was no information on the entire internet that i could find it, about it, that it went to one of those uh 404 website pages or 504 uh, maintenance 
website. I, yeah. I searched it and then I got an email directly from Linda Hamilton and she says, pump your brakes and back off. And I listened to what Sarah Connor has to say. <laughs> <laughs> it's when Arnold shows up at, coming out of the elevator that she gets swarmed by like three or four employees yeah. and they pin her down. And right. like she gets overcome. Trinity didn't get overcome by an entire police precinct. Yeah. <laughs> like she, she, she destroyed all of those police officers. Um, so uh, com- combat, hand to hand combat, Trinity is is my choice in that category. Yeah. And Sarah, why didn't you map out where the stairs were? Why are you waiting for an elevator? <laughs> That's true. I mean, That's so true. maybe Trinity. Here's another thing about Trinity too that I love. Like when we describe Sarah Connor, I got like chills. Just intimidation. Yeah. Trinity is like an unassuming yes. intimidation. Like, oh, yeah. And then all of a sudden, oh, wait, I've messed up. I've yeah. severely messed up. Trinity could kill me. Right? Yeah. It's like, but it, it doesn't it doesn't hit right off the bat. And I think that gives her yeah. extra, though. That that helps her in a, in a way. Yeah, it's um, true. Like, she has kind of a, an, like a... An allure to her that you're kind of curious as to who Trinity is. Yeah. And then I feel like, yeah, if you lean in, and you she get, kicks you in the face. <laughs> she does that <laughs> slow mo <Right. laughs> kick. <laughs> <Yeah>. <laughs> All right. So this next category is a, is a is an interesting twist because there are fictional characters, but in more of a human against human uh, sort of fight. So here's the next one. Do you really think you have a chance against us, Mr. Cowboy? Yippee-ki-yay, mother... I'm surprised you haven't heard about me. You know, I got a bad reputation. I mean, sometimes I just go nuts like now. <laughs> Fight. Uh, yeah, this is a great category. I'm excited to break this down. And we'll get back into the tale of the tape now. <laughs> because <laughs> it's, it's permitted. Uh, so with this, John McClane is 185 pounds, six foot one. Okay. Martin Riggs is a hundred. Wait, with is this McLean six foot one with hair or bald? <laughs> so yeah, with hair or with shoes because sometimes he's barefoot. Sometimes yeah. that's what I have is his first strength, the most durable feet. Seriously, in those the world. calluses have to be like three inches thick. Um, so maybe he, yeah, maybe the six one is three feet of scar tissue on the bottom, or three inches of scar tissue on the bottom of his feet. Um, so yeah, one eighty five, six foot one for John McLean. And Martin Riggs is 165, a little slimmer, and more average. He's 5'10", uh, oh. which I feel like Mel Gibson really is like 5'8". He's more of Tom Cruise, 5'8", 5'9". Um, and so always yeah. had a good set of hair. Oh, for sure. Always. McLean yeah. has to be so jealous of that right out the Absolutely. Because I feel like it was, you know, Mr. Willis, it was barely hanging on in the first Die Hard. <laughs> <laughs> You know, if he could, if he could get McLean out of the heating vents, um, and be able to get into a fist fight with him, um, you know, because I'll give McLean the stealth nature. The in that first Die Hard, the fact that he was crawling around like tight corridors, yeah. and uh, just being as, mischievous, as the xenomorph is just licking its lips. <laughs> it's true, it would be nuts. It, like, because neither one of them would want to stop. Yeah, like neither one of they're they're both so unhinged that it would just be so intense it would be crazy because it would be such a g- just glorious battle yeah that yeah. their loser really doesn't lose they're no. winning you know yeah um, absolutely. unlike you in these fight nights um <laughs> <laughs> oh i told you guys i'd get him for all those short jokes that he said um <laughs> i gotta catch up on all the old man bros. i still don't think i've had enough short jokes <laughs> 